What's up everybody? I'm Caesar and this is what we're going to be creating. Boom, bam. And here we are now, inside of After Effects. Uh, the only thing I've got here right now is the the the, the, the video file we're going to use. And we're, by the way, going to use a, a smaller version of the same clip you just saw, because the other one is a little bit too long. So uh, the only thing I did was I imported it and I dragged it in. I originally uh, recorded this, I originally shot this uh, in 4K using um, a green screen background. I already chroma keyed this thing and um, and got this uh, nice new background to use, and and this is I, I downscale this to be to be HD to be 1080. So we're gonna begin doing this. This is gonna be real quick, I promise. The first thing we're gonna do is we need to create a adjustment layer. So we go anyway here in the in the the sources panel and go to new, create new adjustment layer. All right, right click new adjustment layer. This adjustment layer makes it uh, is useful for uh, doing uh, adjustments over the image just on the part of the of the adjustment layer. Let me show you. For example, we do this. It will just affect the place where the adjustment layer is is over the actual image. So this is going to be amazing for what we need right now. And we're going to set we're going to get a, a, a mask in the adjustment layer. All right. Let me go close we are going to go here with the to the masks where you get the masks and it's not gonna be a rectangle it's gonna be a circular mask actually I'm gonna click in the middle of the eye and then if you go control shift or command shift you're on the Mac you can go right from the center and in a, as a perfect circle there we go let's place this as centered as possible and the first thing I'm gonna do is change the color because uh, the color of the mask because it's blending with my eye color and that's that's not useful at all. So let me go, I don't know, uh, yeah. There you go, bright yellow, I like it. And now that we got this, we are going to add some uh, a couple of effects to the, to the adjustment layer. We'll start with some levels and then a hue and saturation. Now, if you have lighter eyes than myself, you're gonna have an easier time doing this because I, I had to 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 shoot this with a ton of light so I could get uh, you know the detail of my of my naturally brown eyes, and I had to use some really huge lamps. You don't have to buy any special kind of gear. You can actually uh, just use uh, sunlight. It's free and it's really really bright. So, because. I need to first lighten my eyes to do this effect. We're gonna go to the levels and we're gonna start lighting him. Lighting him up. Lighting him up. Let me see. Let me go a little bit darker on the darks. And adjust a little here. So it, yeah, something like that. I like it. So it looks really bright. Really nice. I think I like that. There you go. Now you'll notice that it looks like I don't know maybe like pixelated on the on the on the edges and that's not nice. That's because the, the the mask is not feathered. It's a hard mask so far. So if we go to the adjustment layer and select our masks and and hit uh, F as in feather, we can go and give it a little feather. Let's say four. I think four is good. I think that's looking nice. You know, let me let me make this mask a little bit larger just so it covers my eye yeah nicer there you go okay now we have a, a lot uh, a lot lighter eye now it's time to change the actual color so we can go to the hue saturation effect that we just added go to color eyes and let's start let's start playing here let me see how about something like an aqua color of sorts yeah, something like that. It looks a little bit too much, maybe, but there you go. Let me adjust a little bit of the darks, because you know, my pupil is now... Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. The 
pupil looked a little, like, milky. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> I think it looks, looks pretty, pretty good. What we're going to do next is do the exact same thing on the other eye. So we're going to go to the mask in the adjustment layer, and you can either go Edit, Duplicate, or just Ctrl-D. Alright, or Command-D if you're in a Mac. And in here, let's move the mask to the center of the eye. So we now got we now got two eyes with a color change. So the next thing we're gonna do is that we are going to track my head. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be perfect because the the eyes don't move identically. Uh, with uh, alongside of the of the head, but it's gonna save us a, a lot of uh, frames, a lot of frames for rotoing, and trust me, that that's uh, that's that's important. So, first thing we're gonna do is right click here, just like with the adjustment layer, and hit new, null object. This we're gonna parent all of the movement of my head to this null object. And actually, we're gonna go here and do do it the right way. If if you hit enter, you can rename it, and let's go track. You know what? Track head. There you go. Now we go to the actual video file and hit track motion. And we're going to be tracking position and rotation. I think that's going to be pretty much enough. We are going to be tracking the corners of my eye in this particular example. Something like that. Let me see. This is the actual tracking area and this is the search area. You know, with frame frame by frame. It's gonna look in this uh, this uh, this uh, area right here for the next match for the trackers. Now that we're done, let me. Oh, we're starting from the middle. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go backwards first, right? And then, if you hit if you hit a U, you can see where the keyframes are of any 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 layer. We're gonna go and track this forward. There we go. Now we're done, we're gonna edit target. This is the right target, but it could be wrong if you created this at some other point. And hit apply. Apply X and Y, that's right. Now, this null object should be tracked to my face, to my head. It moves, I think it moves perfectly. So, now we're gonna parent let me go to the frame where we did all this, yes. We're gonna parent the adjustment layer to the track, the, the, to the motion of my head. We're gonna do this, clicking this squirrely thing, and tracking it to the null object. And now, it moves along with it. It's not perfect, and I knew this was gonna happen, but again, this is gonna save us a lot of time. So, let's, gonna, let's start doing this perfectly. What we're going to do here is we're going to go to the adjustment layer and hit M, as in mask. And we're going to start animating the, the masks so that they match. This is called rotoscoping. So we hit the, the keyframes here, we add some keyframes. And now I'm going to start going, let's start with this eye. You know, either way, just moving, adjusting the the mask just ever so slightly to match my actual my the actual center of this eye. Let's do this. For example, let's go. It's like a few frames here. So we double click to be able to move all of the points at the same time, and we do that. It's looking good. We go a little bit over here. I think it's going to be. Here, because there's like a, like a quick movement here, and it, it happens in a couple of frames. So again, wherever you see that the the the, the mask is sliding <coughs> out of your out of your eye, you need to stop and readjust. All right, I'm gonna do this for the rest of the keyframes here. Alright, I think this is looking good. 
Let's take a look. I just I just handled the on well, my left eye, the right uh, the right uh, the, 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 the the eye on the right of the screen. Let's see how this is doing. I think it's working. Yeah, I could I could tweak a little extra here, but I think it's working. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the left eye. All right, I'm gonna go a few frames here and there to adjust it because it drifts off. All right, I'm gonna do this right now. And let's take a look. I think I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm liking it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna fix this. Uh, the the mask that we're using with the with the adjustment layer is uh, overlapping the the eyelids and the eyelashes, and it looks super weird right here. So we're gonna do. We're gonna cut those with other masks so that this doesn't happen. So we go here, and now we create new masks. Let's do two extra masks per eye. Something like this. And same thing for the lower eyelid. There we go. And now we have to subtract those so we can select both of the new masks and go subtract. Now they're killing the effect on, 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 on those, those, those areas and that's what we want. Again, we need to feather it out because it looks you know, like pixelated here and here. So let's feather it out again. Let's press F. And the upper eyelid, I think we'll go like three or four, something like that, because it's uh, behind the eyelashes. So to give it, you know, like the the sense of being of being behind all those little tiny lashes. And the one underneath, I think we're gonna go like two, something like that. Let me see. Yeah, I think that works pretty good, pretty nicely. All right, we're gonna have to do the exact same thing, cause as with the eyes, they're gonna drift. There you go. They're gonna drift. So we are going to adjust them. So uh, again, we hit, uh, select the, 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 the layer, the adjustment layer, and hit M. Now we can turn on the keyframes, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the, with the eyes. I'm just going to start adjusting these so that they don't drift with the, with the clip. And I think I got it. I think that's it. Let me see. Uh, let me adjust a couple of frames here. This happens from time to time, and it's okay. This is the tiniest bit here, and I think we're pretty much ready to go. Yeah, again, I could tweak this a lot longer, but I don't think we need to. No, I think that's fine. All right. So as you see now, the 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 effect, you know, the the, the hue change and the the brightness change is not affecting any other part of the eye. We're gonna do the exact same thing with this other eye. I'm gonna do this real quickly, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I think this is working now. Let me see. Yep, I think it's working pretty nicely. Again, I think it drifts a little bit, a little too much here, so I can I can see this, you know, tinted, tinted. Hold on a second. Eyelashes, and I don't like that. Again, a little tweaking here and there, and I think that's pretty much it. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. So I think the only thing left to do is the, the the color change, the super fast flashy color change when I snap my fingers. So to do that, we're gonna go and key the actual levels and the hue and saturation effect that we had at the very beginning. Let me let me turn this off. You know the masks. This is the mask toggle right here, so you can actually you know, work with the layer selected without having to having something you know to distract you like the the actual masks that we used. So let me see, where is it that I snap my fingers? Oh, there you go, it's bam, bam. There you go, that's the actual frame. So we're gonna go and key this. All right, let's do this. In the levels, let's key the levels first. 
Let's go and key the histogram. And let's hit U here so we can see see the actual keyframe. And if we go, let's go a couple of frames. A couple of frames down the line. And we're gonna go like super bright. There you go. And let's do, you know, the, the start of the flash real quick, and then let's fade it away a little a little slower. Let's go four keyframes. And actually, I'm going to reuse the first keyframe. So you can uh, you can go uh, edit, copy, and then you know uh, get to where you actually want to paste it and hit edit paste or you know control control C control V. All right. So we got this. And now the flashing of the eyes is pretty much done. There you go. And we're going to go for the actual color change now. For that, we need to go to the our original hue saturation effect, and we're gonna keyframe the hue and the saturation as well, because uh, not all colors react the same. So we come back to the adjustment layer, hit U. There we go. There's the two keyframes, for the, the one for the hue and the one for the saturation. And we're gonna go a couple of frames, and then we're gonna change the color. The original clip, I think it was from blue to purple. You know what? Let's let's go a little crazier. How about how bright? How about a bright red? Ah, something like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Bam! It goes. Yeah, it goes through purple because it's going through the entire uh, channel range. But I uh, let's see. Let me see if I if I hate it. No, I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's a pretty nice, easy, quick way to change your eye color in After Effects. Guys, thank you very much. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any posts. I'm Caesar. I'll see you the next time. Thank you guys again, and bye.